This is the 10.5 inch barreled Anderson AR-15 pistol. It's a compact powerhouse that's as feisty as a chinchilla with a megaphone. If you're looking for a AR pistol to add to your collection, this one might be one to add to your shortlist. So without further ado, let's dive on in. Again, coming with that 10.5 inch barrel and a shorter handguard, this AR pistol is definitely going to be a little bit spicy. You do get an A2 flash hider up front, a little bit of Picatinny up on the top at the beginning, at the front of the handguard. You also get M lock on the sides and the bottom of that handguard as well. Nice thing about this is your Picatinny does break apart a little bit, so you can get a good C clamp grip on that shorty boy. Following it back just a little bit more, you do have a rear portion of Picatinny as well, allowing you to put any red dot sights or scopes that you would like to on this AR. As you fall down past the ejection port a little bit, you do have a AR style mag release, which is going to be nice and grippy, easy to use, and works as expected. You do get one standard capacity magazine inside the box as well, and per usual, there is just a little bit of flare right around that magwell to help you if you do happen to miss just slightly on that mag reload. Heading back to that trigger guard, it is going to be metal, much like all of this firearm so far, including that magazine. The trigger pull is very nice on this one. You have next to no take up at all, and it just breaks. The reset is very short, little bit of movement, and bang. And then again, that trigger pull is nice and crisp. It's just a very nice sounding trigger. Okay, moving on. You do have a left hand pull. You do have a left side pull charging handle, which is gonna make it nice and easy to use. And this particular AR does come with a few upgrades as well from Magpul. So you're gonna have a upgraded Magpul grip. So it's a little bit thicker than your standard grips. It does have a nice aggressive texturing on both the sides and a horizontal texturing that is also very aggressive on the front, helping you put more rounds downrange even after your hand gets a little bit sweaty. On the bottom, you do have a hidden storage compartment for any cleaning supplies or as uh, everyone likes to say, Skittles, because those are the only ones that'll hold up to heat. Heading on back, we do have our pistol brace back here, which is adjustable in a couple of different uh, orientations, which is always a nice thing. It's made by Magpul and does have a QD sling mount on the back here. Nice thing about this is it is gonna be very lightweight and maneuverable as you would expect from pretty much any pistol brace. Some other notable features here is it does have an M16 bolt carrier group, which is a reliable workhorse for smooth operation. You are gonna have a forge, lower, and upper receiver, of course, ready to take on whatever challenges you wanna throw its way. And again, it is chambered in 5.56, so it's gonna be a very versatile, capable round, especially in something that is this short. In conclusion, the Anderson AR-15 pistol isn't your average AR. It's small, snappy, and packed with features that'll maximize its compact design, and if you need a potent firearm that handles like a dream in tight quarters, but doesn't skimp on the firepower, the Anderson AR-15 pistol deserves a serious consideration to be on your short list. With that being said, if you have any experiences with this particular AR, please leave a review down below. We would love to see your comments. That is all I have for you guys today. God bless. Stay safe. It is time to end.